When we left off, things were getting pretty interesting in Georgia. <laughs> So that was, who shot? Both did. I found mine. It didn't go far. Where's the dad? Right there. I need to strip some of these clothes. <laughs> no, but I am. Go ahead, big boy. <laughs> well, never count mountain boys out. So my lacrosse knee boots blew out yesterday after like two years. Um, all Academy had was chest waders. If you ever hunt marshes in Georgia, don't bring chest waders because they're heavy and they bind you up. And you may never have kids again after you do. So we're taking a real sharp knife. Safely, mind you, we haven't been around any kind of arteries. And we cut them into hip waders. Yeah, you do what you gotta do out here. You know what I mean? It's a great day. Got a pig down. My family jewels can breathe. Great day to be alive. Great day to be alive. After getting my hog back to the boat and fixing my waders, we decided to get right back after the hogs. We could find their tracks in the mud pretty easily, so we just followed them. It took about 300 yards till we found them. Jeff had had a couple different arrow failures on this trip with very little penetration, so he swapped to my bow as we closed in on these hogs. Thinking the shot is back and knowing that the hog is still right in front of us, we decide to try to get around it and get another arrow in it. He come after me. That second shot, he kind of, he kind of come right here between me and you. Give me some, son. Jeff was lucky he didn't end up with a broad head in the leg. We had an exciting morning today. Uh, Dalton, we got in on some pigs this morning and Dalton had killed one. Um, and we decided we we're gonna track these and we followed them through the mud, through the marsh and uh, come up on them, they were rooting. I had a shot opportunity, he was quartering away and I shot and hit him a little bit further back than I wanted to. And so we got on his trail real quick 
he didn't go very far and I put another arrow in him and then he got real western real quick he come after me and I tripped and fell and but he didn't go 10 yards after that and died uh, it's been an exciting morning back at the dock the guys were excited to hear the story and then from the shoulder straps we redneck that oh that's you with the multi, drag. multi yeah. and see but see this was the deluxe model for the larger hawk <laughs> <laughs> this is the economical mark oh. for the satchel hawk. <laughs> oh, yeah, it accentuates your eyes. <laughs> Look at like that. this. See? This on does that hog make you look bad? I think it does. <laughs> but like I said, it matches my eyes. That's yeah. hillbilly ingenuity. That one, but hillbilly or redneck ingenuity? You strap a hold it and it. Do a little bipping. Yeah. Yeah. got to do some hog bipping now. That one's got a pink left foot. Fella told me one time not to take life too serious. Ain't none of us getting out alive anyway. Yeah, he was holding his foot like that, That's about the size of that size I shot the other day. That's that big. That's a big one. I'm telling you, wait till you see the picture. The kayak in the back is underwater. And the front is. The front is out of the water. And he's paddling to us. Why didn't you shoot a big one? Yeah. <laughs> I did. I shot two. That was tough. Yeah. Alvin Martin from PA killed an absolute trophy hog. But to be honest, the real trophy in this hunt was the times had with good friends and the memories that we'll never forget on that messy, muddy island. Man, I can't wait till next year. If you like what you see, go down and hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. You can find us on Instagram and Facebook at The Stick Boys. And be sure to turn on the bell icon to see when we drop new content. Also, go check out our merch at the Teespring website. You can find that in our bio.